Hi, welcome to this new video on applied econometrics. In this video, I'll talk uh, about some more concepts useful for understanding the methodology of econometrics. Our first concept uh, is the joint probability distribution. A joint probability distribution arises when there are more than one random variables. So in case of more than one random variable, uh, we have joint probabilities and the distribution is a joint probability distribution. Let us take an example of bivariate probability distribution. Uh, bivariate probability distribution means there are two random variables. Uh, in this case x and y uh, here the x variable takes two values 0 and 1 and the y variable takes two values 0 and 1 uh, this 1 by 4 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 are joint probabilities this 1 by 4 probability this probability is the joint probability where the variable x takes value 0 and the variable y takes value 0. Similarly, this uh, 1 by 4 is the joint probability where x takes value 1 and y takes value 0. Likewise, these two figures also are the joint probabilities. So in discrete case, we can express the joint probability uh, in a table like this. Our next concept is the covariance. Uh, in case of two random variables, the covariance is a concept just like the covariance in frequency distribution. It shows whether the random variables are independent or not, or whether they are related or not. If the covariance between the two random variables is zero, uh, it means that the random variables are not related at all. They are independent. So if covariance is zero, the random variables are independent. Uh, if covariance is positive, they are positively related. And if covariance is negative, if covariance is negative, they are negatively related. So when x and y are independent, covariance, uh, covariance between x and y is zero. In that case, uh, we can express the covariance of x, y equals this as expected value of x times y equals to expected x into expected y. So this is the this is the formula for finding covariance in general case where covariance between x and y is given by the expected value of x y minus expected x times expected y where expected x y in discrete case is calculated as simply summation x y times the joint probability x y expected x is calculated as usual as summation x times this probability and this expected y is calculated as summation y times its probability so the term covariance is closely related with the independence of random variables the independence uh, here implies statistical independence and it can be defined precisely as uh, two random variables are statistically independent if the changes in the value of one random variable doesn't have any effect on the probability of other. So if so if uh, the changes if the changes in the values of one random variable doesn't affect the probability of other they are said to be independent so this can be written as probability 
y given x equals to probability of y. What that mean is that probability of y given x equals to 1 equals probability of y given x equals to 2 equals to probability of y given x equals to 3 equals to probability of y. So it means that whatever the value of x, whatever the value of x, probability of y is same. So in other languages, the independence of the random variable can also be expressed as probability of x and y equals probability of x times probability of y. So let us explain the concept of independence uh, with uh, an example of bivariate probability distribution. So this example is the example we discussed just a few slides ago. Here the x variable takes two values, uh, 0 and 1, and y variable takes two values, 0 and 1. So uh, first we calculate the total probability of x. This is also called the marginal probability of x because it it sums of all the probabilities for x taking a certain value. For example, the total probability of x taking a value of 0 equals this probability plus this probability, which is 1 over 2. So this 1 by 2 is the total probability for x taking a value of 1, which is the sum total of the probabilities in this column. So this row represents the pro total probability of x, or this is called the marginal probability distribution of x. Likewise, this last column, this represents the total probability of y or called simply the probability of y or marginal probability of y. So this 1 by 2 is the pro total probability of y taking a value of 0 which is the sum of these two probabilities on the first row. And this 1 by 2 is the uh, total probability of y taking a value of y is 1 which is the sum of these two probabilities. So now the independence of the random variable so requires that probability of x, x and y equals probability of x times probability of y. So now let us consider this case where this is the probability of x0, y0. So probability of x0, y0 should be equals to the total probability of x being 0 times the total probability of y being 0 which in this case the total probability of x being 0 is 1 by 2 and the total probability of y being 0 is 1 by 2 so so probability of x equals to 0 times probability of y equals to 0 is 1 by 2 times 1 by 2 which is 1 by 4 which is equal to the joint probability of x and y being 0. So this concept can be extended to the expected value also and it can be shown that the expected value of x times y equals expected x times expected y. So one important concept in, the, in this context is the conditional probability distribution. Uh, this is perhaps a little bit uh, difficult concept to grasp in the beginning but when uh, we grasp the main idea uh, it's rather easy. The conditional probability distribution is the probability distribution of a random variable where the values of another random variable is conditioned on a subset. For example we can find the probability, for example, we have two random variables, one is income and another is the education in years. So we can find what is the probability of uh, income being in a certain range given that you have an MA degree or you have an 16 years of education. So this can be explained with uh, an example. Uh, again, we take the same example as before and uh, we, we find the conditional probability distribution 
and the conditional probability distribution has been derived here. So this is the conditional probability distribution of y. So this is the probability distribution of y given that x equals to 0. So what we are essentially doing here is that we are conditioning the value of x being 0. So in this case, uh, the, the, the probability of x taking a value of 1 becomes irrelevant and we are just uh, focusing on this part only. So we are conditioning on this column only, where the value of x takes, uh, sorry, the value of x is 0 or x takes value 0. So since we are conditioning the value of x to be 0, uh, this is called conditional probability. Now, how to calculate the conditional probability? So the conditional probability of y being x equals to 0 is simply probability of y equals to y x equals to 0 divided by the total probability of being x equals to 0. So we simply divide these joint probabilities by the total probability of x being 0. So the first probability is this joint probability 1 by 4 divided by the total probability of x being 0, 1 by 2, which is 1 by 2. And the second one is the joint probabilities of y and x divided by the total probability of x being 0. So this is also 1 by 2. So the concept here is we divide the joint probability by the total probability on which we are conditioning ourselves. So using this concept, we can find the conditional probability distribution of y when the value of x is 1. So to find this, we restrict ourselves in this colon and we divide the joint probabilities by the total probabilities of x taking a value of 1. Similarly, uh, we can find the conditional probability of x also where y takes a value of 0 where we, we restrict ourselves to row 1 in this case and we divide the joint probabilities by the total probability of y taking value 0. And we find we can find the conditional probability of x condition on y being 1. And in this case, we are restricting ourselves to this row and we can find the conditional probability by simply dividing the joint probabilities by the probability, total probability of y taking a value of 1. finding the conditional probability distribution we can find the conditional mean value so the conditional mean value is simply the expected value of the random variable uh, weighted by expected values of the random variable which is found by simply weighting the values of the variable by the conditional probabilities. For example, we can find the expected income where the condition is that you have an MA degree. So what we need for this is that we have a random variable y which is income in this case. So we are conditioning x as uh, MA degree or it may be 16 years of education or 14 years of education or 15 years of education. So this can be simply calculated as in discrete case summation y times conditional probability of y. So this is probability of y given that you have an MA degree. So simply by multiplying the values of y with the conditional probabilities and summing them up, we get the expected value in case of discrete random variables. So we again are back to the same example where we 
have already found the conditional probability of y where x is 0 so this conditional probability can be written separately as the value of y and the conditional probability of y where x is 0 so y takes two values 0 and 1 The conditional probability of y taking 0 when x is 0 is 1 over 2 and uh, the conditional probability of y being 1 when x is 0 is also 1 by 2. So this is the conditional probability distribution of y given that x is 0 and we can now find the expected value of y given that x is 0 as the formula where the expected conditional expectation is given by y given that probability of y given that x equals to 0. So this is simply so this is simply summation uh, summation y times the conditional probabilities of y. So this is uh, 0 this is 0 times 1 by 2 so 0 times 1 by 2 plus 1 times 1 by 2 so 0 times 1 by 2 plus 1 times 1 by 2 which is 1 over 2 so this should be summation sign here thank you for watching this video and Please support me by subscribing to my channel.